Hey everyone, how are you doing? Doing good? I'm sure you are. As you see from the title of this video, we're gonna be talking about professors and Kino body real quick because I just wanna clear the air. So let's roll those titles, get this intro rolling, which I don't have an intro. Fuck it, we'll do it live. We'll do it live, fuck it. Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Right. Fucking thing sucks! So let's start with, what is a professor? Well, a professor is simply someone who gives outstanding bro advice. And they usually say it with, you know, that, you know, a little bit of pizzazz and, you know, uh, bravado as if they know exactly what they're talking about, though really it's just probably some bullshit they heard somewhere and now they're just like passing it from like one dude to the next dude or in some cases to an audience of millions and then you know everyone's like oh well let me just listen to that i shouldn't i shouldn't say that i should not say that it's okay if people get misinformed it's normal you know people hear things certain you know certain from certain other people that they think these people know what they're talking about so you know they just take it in and it pretty much just becomes something they just believe in and uh, I don't necessarily blame the person but they there has to be some type of accountability somewhere even if this person has a big following or if this person uh, looks like he's in good shape whatever the case may be you can't just listen to every single you can't listen to the shit that they're telling you necessarily okay you got to look at the actual evidence look at the science when someone says something that just sounds a little bit iffy there's a lot of conflicting facts between the two maybe you should ask that person when they say such statements Where's your evidence? Where's your proof to say that? Now, if that person brings up some random bullshit article that was written by someone on the internet, fuck that. No, no. You want published scientific papers to prove what they are saying. So if you notice on my channel, which I now have a playlist of my professors because, you know, you gotta have a playlist. You, you gotta be aware of these professors. Now, let me just say, some, these professors aren't necessarily bad people. They're just misinformed people, again, who are professors because they're spitting out advice like they, like they know what they're talking about and they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. So, our professors are, as we know, Joe Rogan, uh, Drew Manning, the fit to fat to fit guy, or now the keto guy, uh, Christopher Walker. I mean, that that's a strong one there. And then, of course, our most recent inductee swole normous i think his name is dash by the way uh, according to his twitter I, I don't care whatever so like i said these dudes aren't necessarily bad people these are people just spreading misinformation whether it's joe rogan talking about cholesterol doesn't raise serum cholesterol levels and though, though he has no facts to prove that which technically it doesn't raise cholesterol Serum cholesterol levels do not raise if your cholesterol is already high. I've already explained this in the video. I'll put a link somewhere up here. It's uh, debunking eggs being a superfood by a, a certain young man who said that they were superfoods and said that cholesterol, the cholesterol debacle was still debatable, yet I asked him to debate me and yet he denied. So he's, uh, he, yeah, so. You can, I'll let you form your own opinion on that one. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, I just say this because I'm a vegan, right? And I have a biased opinion. Well, let me, well, let me tell you, slow your row, bro. Slow it down. How dare you? Yes, I am a vegan. Yes, I'm plant-based. Whatever you want to call me. Whatever. Don't care. If I needed to eat animal flesh, as I did eat animal flesh for 31 years of my life, I would. I would if it was essential and necessary. Honestly, I would. I honestly would because I'm not gonna deprive myself of essential nutrients that I need. So the science says all nutrients can be found from plant sources. There is absolutely no need to eat animal flesh to survive. None, zero. That's why I am vegan, I am plant-based because it is optimal for your health and it's not necessary. It's absolutely cruel for the animals and of course it's bad for the environment. And let me throw this other kicker in there. It's bad for you. It's fucking bad for you. It's bad for you to consume animal products. And these professors 
all say that, yeah, it's good. If it's Drew Manning claiming that, you know, oh, you can go keto and you lose a whole bunch of weight, that, that's the dumbest shit ever. Like I said, keto hides behind a caloric deficit. That's it. And loss of water, not actual loss of body fat. Loss of body fat happens from being in a caloric deficit. So fuck off with that bullshit. Or Christopher Walker and his testosterone bullshit. Saturated fat raises testosterone. No proof, no proof at all to back that statement up. Or, oh, here's the doozy. Flax seeds, flax seeds lower testosterone. Fucking hilarious. I mean, and then pull some random study out of his own fucking ass. Again, made a video on all this shit, making all these guys look like dumbasses. Not one single response, probably because my channel's too small. But that's okay. Either way, whether it stays small, whether it grows, I don't care. I do this because I love it, because this is what I do. I made a video on that as well, too. I am just making rounds here. I'm trying, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying my best here. Like I said, I love making these videos. But moving on or swole normous saying you know machines though no one's perfect and this guy he was really something i was like screaming at my computer when i saw his video and i've got other videos on him as well too that i wanted to make but i did and i was like i'm just gonna leave him right there i'm gonna leave him right there i'm gonna leave that video there let's just leave it so i hope you guys understand now what a professor is now you're probably wondering how does Kino Body fit into all this? And why do I always bring up Kino Body every so often or whatever? And why do I poke fun at him? Well, honestly, I poke fun at Kino Body because it's so easy to, it's so easy. Now question is, yeah, is Kino Body a professor? And honestly, I would, I would have to say, I'm gonna let you guys make the judgment on your own. But me personally, I would say he's not a professor. No, no, he's not a professor because he doesn't specifically advise people to eat like certain foods like eggs or fucking beef or whatever. He eats those foods, right? And that, that's a whole moral dilemma that we could get into, absolutely. But we're not, ta I'm not talking about, let's not, we don't have to get into the morality of this yet. Not, I'm not, we don't need to get into that. That's a different topic. In regards to nutrition and misinformation, all that crap, these motherfuckers, the professors that I just talked about, give that specific type of misinformation, saying that animal flesh is good for you. Eggs are super food. Well, I don't want to say Stephen Ray Warren is a professor, but you know, eggs are good for you. We got where we're at today because from eating fucking meat, stupid shit like that, these stupid dumbass statements that are not backed by science at all. They're just popping these words directly out of their own assholes. These, those guys are professors. I've never heard Kino Body say something like that. And also I'll say this, when Kino Body first came onto the scene back in, or at least when, he, he's been on YouTube for years now and he's been doing his thing for a long time now. When he, when I first saw Kino Body, I actually liked the dude. This was back in like 2014, 15 or something like that. Yeah, it was years ago. I was like, yeah, this guy, you know, he was like anti-supplement, all that shit. He talked a lot about intermittent fasting, still does. He's been talking about the same topics for fucking years, the same shit. Intermittent fasting, put yourself in a caloric deficit, aggressive fat loss, upper chest workouts, DEXA scans. It's like the same words over and over again. Aesthetics, broad shoulders. It gets old really quick. You, you watch him for like two days and that's it. You've already like figured him out. You're just like, okay, this is a bunch of crap. But I mean, again, I have nothing against anyone trying to get their nut in this world. That, I don't mean that in a you know perverse type of way. But he's not telling people to eat a specific way. He does push that whole intermittent fasting, but he doesn't have a problem with if someone doesn't. From what I've seen, again, I haven't seen any of his videos in years. The only time I ever go to a Kino body, sorry guys, I was in the middle of saying something. I kind of lost my track of thought. My freaking camera died. YouTube problems. So in regards to Kino body, like I said, I don't think he's a professor. I don't think he's a professor. The only time I ever go onto Kino Body's page, by the way, since I, I don't, I can't watch his content because he is so cringy, is uh, when I need a quick chuckle, like I need a quick laugh because all I got, all I do is just scroll down to the comment section and holy shit, I mean it is funny as all these Greg the kind of guy videos. As a matter of fact. I could use a chuckle right now. Let's take a little scroll down to Kino Body's YouTube page and let's pick out some, let, let's get a laugh here. 225 bench press challenge. Let's, let's click, there's gotta be a bunch of shit on that. Greg, the type of guy to drive his car with no gas so it can be <laughs> in a fasted state. <laughs>
Greg, the type of guy to send this video to NFL along with an intermittent fasting guy. Eh, all right. Greg, the type of guy to cremate himself so he could finally reach 0% body fat. Not bad. Greg, the type of guy to give a physique update to his doctor. <laughs> Dude, the fucking comment section is loaded with these comments. I mean, that's, that's the only reason to ever go to Greg's page. It's to check out the comment sections. It's hilarious. I highly recommend it. And let me just say this. I mean, all right, we're, let's put this down. I'm not trying to pick on the guy. I'm honestly, I'm not, I'm not. It's just, he, he puts himself in that position. Like he walks right into it with his pretentious bullshit and all that crap. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying when you do, when you act a certain way, you do something like that, you're going to get a reaction. And you know, a lot of people can smell the bullshit from a mile away and he's kind of bullshitty. At least, you know, according to my opinion, maybe he's not. Maybe I'm sure he's a wonderful man if you meet him in person or whatever, but he is definitely not a professor. At least I don't think he is one now. I'm not saying he doesn't have the potential to become a professor. He may become one, who knows? I don't think he does. It seems like he stays out of that whole nutrition side of things. He doesn't really know shit about nutrition. He, his diet is shit. So that's about it. Now you know what professors are. They're guys that give outstanding professor knowledge and advice with a certain uh, je ne sais quoi, some bravado, a little bit of pizzazz in there and they act like they know what they're talking about and they've got pretty big followings. A lot of people listen to this shit and well, I'm here to tell you that they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're, they're, they're just a bunch of professors spewing verbal diarrhea shit out of their mouth. I don't hate them. I'm just saying they don't know what the hell they're talking about, so be aware of it. So that's about it, guys. You know who I am. You know what to do, right? That's right. If you could please do your boy a favor, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please do your boy a favor. Make sure to subscribe so I can keep you updated on the weekly. I'm the Natural Hawks. I want to thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for the next one.